Okay, today we're out here working on a 2011 Chevy Aveo that needs uh, front brakes. I'll put a clip in of what it sounds like. We're going to put it up on the lift and get the front wheels pulled off and we'll show you how we're going to do this. It's got some wobbling in the front end, which we found on this side. Has about that much play, which I don't know if you can see that. But the ball joint's pretty loose. So we got a new control arm, which you just change the whole control arm and it has a new ball joint already in it, so you don't have to worry about that. And then on the passenger side, because I don't know who owned this car, but they obviously didn't take very good care of it. This wheel bearing is real loose. So we're going to go ahead and put a new wheel bearing on this side, new control arm on the other side. Okay, we're going to get started on this side here with the uh, wheel bearing issue. We're going to take this bolt out and the one on the bottom, take the caliper and the bracket all off at once. And we'll hang it up out of the way and pull the rotor off and work on getting the axle out so we can uh, start getting the bearing out. We got the axle nut off, I pulled the bolt off for the ball joint, so now we're going to try smacking this with a hammer and see if that ball joint will come off, and if not, we'll put a pickle fork in there, knock that out so we can pull the axle out and try to get the bearing out of the spindle. Okay, we've got the tie rod off here, um, just same as the ball joint, took the nut off and then hit that with a hammer until that popped out. Um, getting ready to take these two bolts out. I marked it on here just to try to take so when we take it off we can put it back in the same spot because this will change the alignment of the car and we don't really want to have to get in alignment right now. So we're going to go ahead and pull these two bolts out and then the whole hub should come off and we'll take this over and press it out. Okay we pressed the spindle out hub, whatever you call it, here. We'll still have to pull this off, the inner part of the bearing, but right now we're trying to get this snap ring out, which you can kind of see through all the grease right here. Um, I've got some little cheap snap ring pliers, so we'll put those on and see if we can get this off of here. I did get it. Watch the watch your face. It could. Yeah. Oh yeah. Working on it. Uh working on it. Got it. Golly. What a piece of crap. That bearing is sharp. Okay, you got the snap ring out, we're back in the press, and now we're gonna try to press this back out. Might go better without the snap ring, or it'll break these boards. There 
there's Okay, now we're going to take this, try to get this race off. We're just going to put a chisel right here, hit it with a hammer, should pop right off. See how that works. Because I'd probably hit it with a hammer and it'd bounce back at me in the forehead. Right. Hammering the new bearing back in the hole. Decided to use the hammer because uh, we don't have the right stuff to hold it on the press to keep it flat. A little bit more. That'll do. And now we'll put the snap ring back in. where your hands are. What up at all if I hold that or not? It's in there. Ta-da! How to do it if you don't have a press, which we do have, but we just didn't use. Okay, got the bolts tightened up on the strut, so now we're going to put the tie rod back in and the ball joint. I'm going to let Wade do all of this because I smashed my thumb taking this apart and it hurts. So we'll see how he does putting this back together. And while we're in there, we'll change the brake pads because this wheel bearing being wore out uh, completely ate that pad. So we get this thing put back together. Got it all put back together. It's nice and tight. Nothing moves. Um, I think what happened with the last one is somebody had changed it before and they either didn't get this tight or they didn't uh, 
smash the nut in and the groove because this nut was not even hardly tight. But we got it all back together. Going to put the wheel on and move over to the other side doing the control arm and ball joint. But we'll save that for another video. So if you want to see that, come back next week and we should have it up on the internet. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any questions or anything, leave a comment below.